Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 8638 Spy Jet Escape. It has 339 pieces for ages 7 to 12, and it's from Cars 2, brought to you by Disney and Pixar. And this set retails for $49.99. And here on the front, we see that the lemons over there cannot shoot for a squat. Okay, and they're all trying to get onto that spy jet to escape over there. And here on the side are the cars, more on that later. And here in the back, we see some playabilities, and we have some good close-ups too of what's exclusive to the set. Okay, we have the two lemon cars over there, and we have Finn Big Missile in a disguise over there. And I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. First up is Holly Shiftwell, who is a British spy, and as you can see, she's not very subtle. She really stands out with those colors there. And here's what she looks like from the side. And there's the top, and these are printed pieces that you see here, okay, and they're very nicely done. And there's the front, there's the bottom, not much to it. And there's the back with a minor detail down there. And she is very easy to build. Okay, so it doesn't take very long to do that. And next, next is Toe Mater, who is Holly Schiffel's new boyfriend. So guys, if Toe Mater can get a girlfriend, so can you. Okay, and here he is from the front. All right, same old Toe Mater. And there's a side where it says Toe Mater, Towing and Salvage, Radiator Springs. Nice detail there. He's pretty much the same as the classic Mater, okay? Nothing really new here. He's not Agent Mater this time around. And there's the top, there's the bottom, and that's it. Here is Grem, who is one of the lemons here. And he is new and exclusive to the set. And here he is from the front, and these are the only printed pieces that he has, okay? There's no details on the sides there, which make him look really, really plain. And same thing with the back, too. Not much going on over there. But on this side here, we have one mean-looking machine gun, okay? And this can move like this. And there we go, okay? Nothing on the bottom. And there's the top. And overall, there's really not much to it. Next is Acer, who is another henchman from Professor Z. And you may recognize him as the one falling into the tank of laboratory services during the chase at the airport, giving a whole new meaning to Lemony Fresh. Okay, and here he is from the top. Here's the front. More printed pieces. Nothing on the bottom. Nothing on the back. Nothing on the side again. Gosh. But on this side, we have the same machine gun that Grem has. Okay, so there we go. And if you notice, there's another clip on the other side, so you can take his gun and put it on this side if you want to dual wield those things, which is pretty cool. Here's Finn Big Missile, and this time he is wearing his airport security disguise, and that's what that says over here. Okay, and there's the front, more printed pieces once again, and there's the top, there's the back, not much to it, and nothing on the bottom either. All right, and he is exclusive to the set because of this new disguise here. Okay, you can't get that anywhere else. And finally, let's take a look at the spy jet. Finally, we have Siddha Lee, the spy jet, and he looks really cool at first. And he looks pretty cool from this angle too. Now, before I continue, I just want to show you guys the sticker sheet real quick because these are all his stickers here. That's for the ramp. These are the windows, and there's the tail. So without them, he looks like a regular cargo jet, a fancy one too. Okay, and here's what it looks like from the front, and that's a printed piece over here, and so is this black part right here on the top. Okay, that's printed along with this piece over here. Okay, and here's the side, and right away you'll notice this big hole over here. What happened? It looks largely unfinished. I think they could have done a better job with that. And that's really bad, if you ask me. That's too big of a hole to let go. Okay, and then there's the back. Okay, that looks pretty nice from that angle. And here's the top. And here is the bottom where we have the landing gear and we have some flick fire missiles there Which are supposed to be machine guns, but you can flick them or push them. Okay, there we go. Nice shot And now to talk about the play abilities with That over there Now if you think that hole there is disappointing wait until you hear about the capacity If you recall in the movie this thing was very spacious because Tomator, Finn and Holly were inside traveling first class so technically this thing is supposed to carry all three, but it doesn't. And if you look inside, we only have room for one of them. And Tomator won't fit in there because he's too big. So we'll just put Finn in there, just to show you guys real quick. All right, and he barely fits in there too. All right, it's a really tight squeeze. You kinda have to jiggle it sometimes just to get him in there. And there you go, okay? He's still exposed there on the side. And just to show you, you can put Holly in there as well. And what's also weird about this set is that when you're playing with this on the ground, you wanna get them out, it's a little bit awkward to get them out of there, okay? You would have to hold the plane at an angle just to get them out of there, okay? So I think the playability could have used some work on this one. And let's talk about the recommendations now. Overall, I say that the set is okay. Not that good. 
And when you look at the playabilities, as mentioned earlier, okay, the main features on the plane here are not very playable. It's actually very disappointing. You have to jiggle the car to get it in, and it's awkward to get it out unless you're holding it at an angle. Okay, and if you recall in the movie, there was actually a lot to do inside the plane. Okay, they were chatting, they were looking at computer screens, Tomato was trying on different disguises, so they could have worked with that, make this plane a little bit bigger. I don't see any harm in that. And what they could have done is just make this roof come off a little bit easier. Whoops. And then you can see it's pretty hollow in there. They could have added some stickers there, just something to make it more playable, but they didn't. Okay, so I think this was really poorly put together, and they certainly could have done a better job. Now, on the flip side, this can easily convert to your own private jet for your minifigures, okay, which would be really nice. All right, all you have to do is get some chairs and some decorating, and there you go. Okay, not too hard, but it does require quite a bit of work on your end. So overall, the playabilities are not that good. Now, when it comes to the value, not so hot either, okay, because we have 339 pieces for $50. That comes out to about 14.7 cents a piece, which is pretty bad, okay. And I went online to check, okay, and if you were to sell the exclusive cars individually, you're lucky you can get around $45 for them at the high end, okay? They sell on average 10 to $15 each, but still, I don't think it's a worthwhile set to get unless there's at least 30% off on this set, okay? Which means clearance, okay? So that's the only time I would get this set. I would just wait for it because I don't see any rush to get this thing unless, of course, you're a hardcore Cars 2 fan, okay? But otherwise... This sets can certainly wait, and that's it. Okay, that sums up my review. Hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.